Hello guys, Mr. Levi here. Welcome back on a guide, this time on Harvest Jack, one of the best looking characters in game in my opinion. I'm not saying the best skill wise, because I was not really able to figure out where to use him. He is pretty nice in the arena, that's for sure. Also because of his first skill he could be used against the Fire Knight's castle. But otherwise, I'm not sure. The review says obviously it's good in the campaign. Minotaur, yeah, maybe, but there are better champs for Minotaur in my opinion. And Ice Golem Skip, maybe. So let's check his skills first. Attacks one enemy three times. Each hit has a 25% chance of stealing one random buff from the target. Each hit also has a 25% chance of placing a free or debuff for one turn if the target has no active buffs. This chance increases to 100 if all buffs were stolen from the target. So the whole champion's skills are really interesting, just it's a bit hard to find use for them. Attacks all enemies, places a block buffs debuff for two turns on targets under fear debuffs. Removes any increased attack buff from the target and replaces them at, with 50% decreased attack debuff for two turns. Removes any continuous heal buff from the target and replaces them with 5% poison debuff for two turns. The number of poison debuffs is equal to the number of continuous heal buffs removed. So just imagine using this against Bad El Khazar where when he puts those continuous heals buffs on all the teams so you can replace it with poison and also the first skill steals one random buff so you could remove the ally protect buffs the unkillable buffs so he got some use but you need to think before using him and her third one Attacks all enemies has 75% chance of placing a true fear debuff for one turn. Also places a 30% decrease speed debuff for two turn and the decrease and decreases each target's turn meter by 50% if the true fear debuff is placed. Has 75% chance of placing a sleep debuff for one turn if the true fear debuff is not placed. So if you use this in the arena, if it lands that the team is destroyed completely, no question about it. So, and his passive when attack decreases the duration of all buffs on the attacker by one turn. So, altogether, a nice champion. E if you are planning to use him in the arena, I would suggest to use with the third skill first, and after, depends on if the team got a lot of buffs, use this. If not, then use the first one and after the second because you want the fear to block the buffs on them so the artifacts I got two immortal and one divine speed set on him full speed could be better I did not have speed artifacts free so let's check the artifacts Pretty nice artifacts all together. HP, HP, and speed. If you see the debuffs are not landing, you could you could uh, change this to accuracy. And some shitty jewelry. I really need to find more jewelry, and I don't have banner at the moment. So here are the masteries. Defense and support. This is why I'm saying a full speed set would be better, but altogether it's fine. I put the accuracy here so I could use HP on the chest, but if you want to use uh, accuracy on the chest piece, grab this one instead of this. And this one is useful as well. So this is how I built him. Hope you are having fun with the game. 
thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel also check out my other videos have a nice day and see you next time bye